there since I was here. I've got an external plugged in, so I try to dip the wind noise down. Uh, some type of little station there. To be honest, that's where I used to pitch, I think. Uh, that is the cairn at the top. Obviously. Oh, it'd be nice to get dipped out of that window. be some type of weather station. Yeah, see if I couldn't plug in, charge all my stuff up. There's the old cairn that's like split into two or three bits. Hold on. I think that there was me pitch. Tufty but flat. Yep, that was it. There's a little seat down here. Well, breezy. Uh, now then, now then, now then. I mean, I've got the storm store with us. That's not going to be a problem for that tent. Uh, what's that thing? Is it cameras and stuff or <laughs> I don't want to be <laughs> fetching a tent and keep bobbing out for ways and stuff with that with that on surely it's just a weather station uh, <laughs> uh. right oh. that's definitely me I would pitch that like <laughs> right That's took some getting up, blinking wind, and the ground's the ground is so unlevel over this side, uh, which is uh, barely sheltered from the other side. <laughs> hey. Butchers up and she's looking pretty damn fetching. Right, I'll take some tent porn. Bring one to my fingers in the end. Ah man, that's why you put up with the cold, the wind, that's why you put up with everything. like that. is how we and straight away 
Oh, man. How are you, Donna? Get in. Oh. Oh. That's it, we're in. Oosh. Right, guys, so there is your Flex Tail Zero mattress. Uh, I have had it a bit lie on it in the house, as we do with Wagia when we're, we get it. And it was comfortable, and you could feel that heat radiate uh, straight back through to you. You can sort of see, well, uh, hopefully, you can see uh, the sort of lighter baffles here. That is where your insulation is. Uh, there appears to be none on the edges. Uh, that's alright. So see, hopefully you will get that and see where you can see where the insulation stops there, can't you? Yep. Yeah, I did buy this. I paid it. I uh, paid eighty-two English pounds for it. Uh, the inflation valve. Oh, come on, little little zero mat. Come on. The bug out the pool and blow up with that uh, flex steel pump. I couldn't find the right the right thing. So a nice little tab on there just for it easily just to pop uh, just the top one up, I do like that. Uh, we'll see how we get on tonight with it. Looks a bit like a... Uh, like a... Lyra from, from the swimming pool. Right. <laughs> hey, alright there. Uh, God, I look like something out of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's a roof. Really windy putting the tent up. You literally, I mean, well, you seen that the gust was where you wasn't gust really, it was sort of tickling on keeping round about uh, in between 20 and 30. Uh, I've dropped down over this side of the hill. Uh, winds have just got down now. I was wanting to get some TFM footage. Oh, I think that's crossed there. Uh, the winds dipped down tomorrow and I can get the, the little tiny thing out. Uh, but I think now it's just time for to get my stuff out uh, and just kick back and relax and in, enjoy my view. You want to have a look? Oh. Yeah. Quite acceptable. Oh, that's lovely. I might even get a time lapse going. Right, the temperature, look at us trying to always make myself look nice. <laughs> I am who I am, I just, yeah. Uh, the temperature is uh, approximately 4.1 degrees. Again, that is in miles an hour, 4.1. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, below fridge temperature. But I've been taking some clothes off. Because, uh -huh. hold on, can we get can we get it in? Can we get it in? Hold on. That there is the light of the heated sock. Oh, we've got our hot socks on, and life just instantly feels better. The literally the heat up like uh, put them on, put the batteries in. Just a gentle heat. It's a blinking lovely here. Uh, Heated socks, man. Heated socks. Uh, so yeah, just sort of sitting. I'm going to go through my photos, have a look at them. Uh, this is just I'm telling you how I yeah just usually pass a night. Uh, it's only about six o'clock, which is loads better than it was a couple of months ago when it would have only been about four o'clock. Yeah, so I haven't got long to go till tomorrow. Uh, not that I'm wishing, you know, w wishing the night away. I'm just saying it's it's a lot easier going uh, in the dark nights, in the cold, dark, windy nights. Uh, well, it's it's not as cold and dark as windy for as long, <laughs> and I think sunrise will be round about the seven to seven thirty ish. I will check that on the Met Office. Uh, it will be that way ish. I also have an app on. I don't have many apps, but I have an app on my phone that tells that tells me exactly where the sun will set and what time and where it will rise and what time and it's great for if you're sort of hid behind a, a hill or something it, it takes that into account and lets you know uh, right I'll shut up and get off I'm going to get myself uh, a, a can of the painter and saint of uh, Aldi opened where is, where, is, where is the bag of beer with 
Oh, there it is, just outside. Ah! Well, that's not the patron saint of Aldi, is it? That is a Brooklyn log out to go with my American tent. Uh, so we'll have this, it's a crisp pilsner. So I'll probably have a bag of salt and vinegar to go with it. Ba -dum -bum. I tell you what, bloody cold tonight. That wind is whippy. Mr. Whippy, it's ice cream cold. I've literally got brain freeze. I've just had to strip off. I thought best not for to film that. I've had to strip off, take the old bra off. And you know, I went out of my way for to have a little bit of a uh, scaffolding on, shall we say, for this video, so it wasn't making people go. <sighs> but I've had to take that off, uh, stick a base layer uh, with a hood on, so I'm, I'm like quite well hooded up now. Then I've got this spare hood here that I can pop on, which will make two hoods and like sort of like a hat thing I'm wearing. Probably can't hear us for the wind. Oh, all my pegs was in brilliantly, as you would expect from a professional wild combat like myself. Uh, so all my pegs are in super brilliantly. I've even double pegged, as opposed to back pegging. I've even double pegged uh, a couple on that side. So I mean, it's not going to take off for a start with me in, uh, or with all the pegs I've got in. Uh, so it's just sort of sitting here entertaining myself for the night. A little bit, a little bit online because I get a signal here with whatever space station that is over there next to the cairn. Uh, yeah, and it's the tent will take it. It's just a can I take it? I'm getting a bit old, you know. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> hey, man. So I'm going to turn this off. I just wanted to let you know that I'm all right and having a mint time uh, on me days off work this week. I'll turn you around and let you see the tent. There we go, that's your storm start in action. And that's that lovely noise. Uh. And that is breezy for to be biffing this tent round like that. Alrighty, we're going to do a quick cooking segment at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, just because I'm not really hungry because I had a big lunch before I left the, the lingo. Uh, but then what's the point of carrying this up here? And I know if I get to make warm insiders, I'll sleep better. Uh, so that is a vegetarian cottage pie mix with some marifat peas mixed in. I will be making the mash out of that. Uh, that will. Uh, I brought it up in that container so it saves us using a pan. Uh, makes sense in my head. Uh, so yeah, I've got uh, that there. Doesn't look very appetising at the moment, but I will show you what it looks like in about five ten minutes time. Um, we've got a little bit, bit of cheese to melt over the top. Um, so yeah, there's no point in going to bed too early because I'll just be lying there. Uh, not getting to sleep. <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? Eh? If you don't go to, if you go to bed and you're not tired, eh, you'll not get to sleep. Right, I'll bring you back. Tea is progressing. It's not looking too bad. Oh, there we go. That is ready for the Idaho and mash. I will biff that back on whilst filling this and stirring it. Uh, and just, it's all magic. In a minute. <coughs> oh, hello. I've got the tent vented from up there. <coughs> Not there, it's tea this evening. And I'll be honest, I'm pleased I'm uh, about that to cook it. Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> Can 
Right. Right, I'm off to eat. Nice peeps. So we've, we've come down a little bit here, and as I said, hard to get a, a good pitch, but I think we've... kept up all night constant literally constant uh, and that has been on the 20 30 mile an hour non-stop I've had my plugs in so I had a good a good old chunk of sleep up until about four o'clock uh, the flex tail mat uh, a resounding success on night one uh, at the minute uh, if you go on their website and I think they're a hundred is it 119 dollars when you change on it in English poundage uh, it comes in about something like 90 quid uh, if you put one in your shopping basket and then don't check out yeah they'll send you uh, an email link through so you know uh, if if we give you some uh, like a percentage off or would you would you be interested so stick with it play with them uh, I ended up getting mine for 82 quid with 15% off uh, so yeah for 82 pound for an insulated sleep mat or five uh, with the weight it is I think it's something like 570 grams uh, happy days happy days indeed right I, I'm going to get tidied up it's half past eight uh, there's a little bit of rain there before uh, there's no point in sitting in a tent when I know the weather's not going to change and I'm not, I, I won't get the TFM up today in this I'll just lose it uh, so it'll be a march back to the car uh, I probably won't do much filming on the way back, uh, but I will have a word in the car when I get down at the bottom of the valley. Uh, but for now, it's ciao. Uh, good morning from up a hill. Wow, the glorious, lovely in bed shot in bed with Yadonna. <laughs> and toodles. Stop recording. stuff going on over what's that one that is cheviot uh beautiful five minutes later down the hill it's, it's hardly any wind <laughs> and i'm on the sheltered side of the hill but it's weird <laughs> oh man why do i do this why would any sane person go up a hill with a wind forecast like that Pitch on lumpy, bibbly bobbly, tufty, grassy land. It, honest, you have no idea of how un, unlevel the pitch was. <laughs> and wake up and you got all that rubbish to look at. <laughs> Literally tardy views for males. Uh, I, I'll be on, I'm, I am getting older. I'm looking forward to the nicer weather coming back. Uh, I always carry a decent sized pack because I like to be comfortable. So I never whinge on about pack sizes. If I want to be comfortable, I'll bring gear to make us warm and snug. Uh, it's what you do, isn't it? Well, it's what I do. You can out a little bit more lightweight in. Blinking in blinking summer, you don't really nip with it in winter, do you? Uh, why not if you want a half decent night? No, it was nice and snug last night. I was. I think I said on Facebook, snug uh, is what a wild camper calls fridge temperature. <laughs> uh, right, I'm looking forward to getting back to the car, getting a brew. Uh, I will sign off here now. I don't know how I'm going to cut this. Uh, so I'll just say thanks to everyone for watching. Thank you. I'll catch you next week somewhere. Uh, uh, keep a hat. Right, keep a hat, keep a hat. Well, next week, have a good week. Uh, big love from DVS. Yes, DVS. Ah, <laughs>
like that. Davey, yes.